what up everybody? Pinoy Crossover here. Kamo sa kaya lahat. Welcome. And this is Pinoy Crossover, Filipinos talking basketball. We have honorary Filipinos, our special guests right here. Thank you guys for joining us. No problem, no, no, no problem. problem, man. And then I obviously didn't introduce my co-host, Marky Mark with the scarf. Always warm. Always. <laughs> Any oh, weather. I, know, I have no idea why he's wearing Any weather scarf, is honestly. scarf weather, you know. <laughs> okay, whatever that means. So let's go straight into talking about basketball. Just introduce yourselves, please. Uh, so I'm Troy. Uh, Adrian. Mm -hmm. And... And the podcast you guys host, and yeah, so we um, we host a weekly podcast called the Combo Guards. Uh, basically, we're trying to give you guys that raw and uncut. Think like you're going into a barber shop. We all have been to a barber shop. We hear guys say crazy stuff, mm -hmm. um, but we also try to bring the facts with it at the same time. So um, that's kind of our approach. We we like to really get into the NBA topics um, and just share our opinions on them. Yeah, we're two very opinionated individuals. We've been. We know each other for years, going back yeah. to like elementary school. We've been talking ball as long as we can remember, so we figured, why not put it on a, on a microphone, right? Mm -hmm. We first, actually first started out doing a blog called Four Corners, where we would, it would be a debate on paper, and then we just transitioned into, into the blog and put on a microphone, and mm -hmm. we've been doing it for, what, 90 Ninety something episodes now, ninety three. Yeah, we're wow. about ninety three so, now. Yeah. Wow. So Amazing. it was like a month, like what two years, three years. That something like that. Yeah. 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 It's been a lot of yelling, a lot of arguing, <laughs> a lot of fun times, a lot of jokes. Before the blogs and before I guess the uh, the, the podcast, uh, tell us I guess how did you guys, both of you guys, got into the game of basketball, huh? Like from the beginning. Um, well, for me, like I always grew up playing road hockey, for mm -hmm. the most part, and then um, I moved to Agent Court. That's where I met this guy. Mm -hmm. um, so at that particular school, everybody played ball. So that's how mm -hmm. I got introduced to basketball. Mm -hmm. um, and then through being introduced to basketball, I started watching the NBA more. Um, in particular, I really idolized Jason Kidd. Mm -hmm. um, probably like one of few players that resembled me somewhat. Yeah. So like, I even at one point wanted I to die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. um, this game don't resemble. Wow, wow, shots fired, shots fired. Right um, up. I even at one point wanted to dye my hair blonde, but my dad wasn't having it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like that's kind of how my love for the game started. Was just um, you know playing with my friends, playing in the in the playground, mm -hmm. um, and then eventually joining some rep teams and you know just building my skills from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I was. Big sports guy ever since I was a kid. Um, baseball was my first love. I love baseball, still do to this day. But basketball, I was so immersed in it growing up, especially in the area I grew up in. Uh, the school that we went to uh, was very basketball heavy. Shout out Highland Heights. Yes, back in Scarborough. So we were always around the basketball culture, basketball guys, playing ball. Mm. And most of our friends played it over baseball. So as much as I wanted to play baseball, basketball was always the sport that everyone could play. Mm. And then you just, I just grew to love it, enjoy it, and then talk about it. And, that was that, and then here we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Penny's, Penny would have been my guy growing up. Penny, Penny yeah, Hardaway, yeah. Crossover. I still wear number one to this day. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get his shoes, but it's like $300, so yeah. I don't love him that much. <laughs> I don't love him that much. Yeah. Going into your podcast, what are some of the topics that you love talking about, or what are some topics that you try to stay away from because you know stuff might get heated? Yeah, like, well, we always we always talk about the Raptors. That's first and foremost. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just because, again, just us being in Toronto, um, we just have that, that relationship of, well, a love-hate relationship, you can kind of say, like, we're down for the team. We want to see them do well. But at the same time, when they're not, we hold them accountable. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So we pay the um, price for that. Mm -hmm. we, so we do pay the price for that. Yeah, well, <laughs> we got, block, got blocked a we couple got blocked times. Oh, some <laughs> Raptors, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah unfortunately. For sure, but, for sure. you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. one, one topic that will definitely stir up, you know, some, some heated content would be anything about LeBron James. Mm -hmm. um, LeBron James right now is my favorite player in the NBA. Mm -hmm. See? Troy has real estate in the LeBron James <laughs> property, right? So he loves them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me on the hand, I like to keep it honest. I like to, I like to keep things, mm -hmm. keep things neutral. So we, we, we tend to battle a little bit on that. Yeah. Um, recently, we've been going at James Harden. Not personally, but he's a, supporting James Harden as a lead player. I'm not. Yeah. So those have been kind of heated conversations. Right. Um, those two are the top heavy ones right now. But yeah. Raptors, we always have, especially with our guests, we always yeah. have uh, quite tight Ten, ten, heavy tension conversation. Yeah, yeah. 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 How sure. did um, for you guys? Uh, just going back a little bit in terms of how did combo? When did you guys? How did you guys come up with it? When was the idea between you two? It's like, hey, let's start a podcast. Like, was there? Well, we were, as we said before, like we started off with the four quarters sort of roundtable mm -hmm. blog article, mm -hmm. um, and then we realized that over time, like. It, it's more effective for us to like just put our opinions on wax. Mm -hmm. um, so initially, 
Um, we got with Jesse from Mega City Basketball. They wanted to start a podcast. Um, so we kind of combined that endeavor to start the Combo Guards. Um, and it just fostered again from us just having really strong opinions mm -hmm. and just wanting to get them out there. And, um, you know, we've been big fans of various other debate shows. And it's not that we felt that like we could replicate that, but we also feel that we bring something unique to the table mm -hmm. um, that ultimately... If we had our podcast, our voices would shine through, our opinions would shine through, whether mm -hmm. they're crazy or not. And that's kind of the Combo Guards moniker is you're going to get yeah. a combination of some wild stuff. But at the same time, you might be surprised and get some facts out of it, too. <laughs> right. So mm -hmm. that's kind of how we came yeah. up with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you talk about some wild stuff? When you say wild stuff, what does that mean? Like, <laughs> there's, no, like ah, there's, there's no topic we don't, even if it's not ball related, like mm -hmm. we talk about. We tend to talk about everything, especially in the right. culture, mm -hmm. hip hop culture, where we grew right. up. Um, mm -hmm. So there's no topic we, we try to shy away from. We try to keep it 100 all mm -hmm. the time. So, yeah. And like it's, it's, it's unedited too. Like we don't really edit our podcast. So mm -hmm. you get the raw, real, uncut feelings we have. And yeah. um, think about it like this like the Raptors lose a really close game. Um, as a fan, you're mad about it. Yeah. And you're somewhat irrational about it, right? We don't hide those irrational feelings. We yeah. let them go. So it's not that we're this one in particular thing we'll say that's crazy, mm -hmm. but just that irrational feelings will come out at some point mm -hmm. in time, mm -hmm. right? And people hold us accountable. Yeah. <laughs> we post it on IG and yeah. they definitely let us hear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Who the hell we are, but. <laughs> From what Combo Guard is when you guys started to where it is now, what are some of your plans or goals to hit for the next, uh, either next year or the next few years mm -hmm. or so? Sponsorship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every sponsorship would be the, the next goal. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been fortunate enough to have some really uh, great guests on uh, that's kind of helped us bring it to another level. Mm -hmm. But in turn, like more closer goals, sponsorship would be the main one. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully do, we could do a show or right. something like what you guys are doing. But um, yeah. yeah, sponsorship would be the, the one. And also to just be a mainstay, mainstay in the Toronto basketball community, right? Like, mm -hmm. when you think of Toronto basketball, obviously you think of the Raptors. Mm -hmm. um, obviously you think of things like NBA TV Canada and mm -hmm. things like that. Of course, you guys as well. Like, mm -hmm. um, we've seen you guys doing your thing for a while. Um, mm -hmm. So we just want to be a part of that conversation when people think about Toronto basketball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talked about LeBron as he was he has real estate in LeBron. Mm -hmm. Talk about who your favorite player is, and then I want to see your reaction of like if that's even cool with you. Because yeah. We have a couple of seconds left, but who's yeah. your favorite okay. player? Why right and, now? Yeah. yeah, who's your? I'm a big Curry guy. Yeah. Shout out his yeah. birthday. Yeah. 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 It's his birthday. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be yeah. Friends. Yeah. It's his birthday today. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't have an individual player I really ride with. Yeah, um, I tend to call out players Teams? more than yeah. I. <laughs> tend to support them. Yeah. So you hater, you call me hater if you want, but definitely. <laughs> but yeah, I tend I tend to call them out more than than talk yeah. about the ones I like. But mm -hmm. Curry, talking my head, would be the guy I like the most. Yeah. And mm -hmm. quick rapid question: LeBron on Lakers, Kobe on Lakers, who's better? Okay, well, obviously it's Kobe on Lakers. It's, setup, it's only been man. a year, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll save obviously that for the next. Cool. I just yeah. want to see how how, how much. Uh, we'll save that for the next. Well, this is the difference yeah. between Adrian yeah. is, is that I can recognize the greatness, okay? okay. And it's debatable. Like Curry, yeah. 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 I can be objective. I like that shot yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah. that's you know the big. We'll save that for the next segment. But let's. But you know, ask me that question when LeBron's contract is up. We'll see. 